a broadcast from DECA. And more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Mr. Quick's favorite host, Izzy. And I'm Mr. Quick's more favorite host, Lathan. You know, I heard a big broadcast rehearsal start today and that we should come with creative or creative ideas and ready to work. I also heard Mr. Taylor would take any questions we may have about it. That will call for a full stomach. So apparently, for lunch today on lines one and two, there are hot dogs. Line three is a soup and salad bar with potato soup. Line four has barbecue chicken or flatbread pizza. And sadly, line five is closed. And then, a lot of happy birthdays go out to Madison Chester, Michael Colby, Ramiro Del Toro, Seth and Steve Kauf Stephen Kaufman, and Miguel Mendoza. Now let's head over to our house meteorologist. Thanks guys. For the temperature today, there is a high of 33 this morning and a low of 28 tonight. It will be cloudy all day with 6 mile per hour winds. So try to stay warm, hot dogs. That's all for weather. Now to Juliet with sports. Thanks, Calista. The boys varsity basketball team lost to Peru Friday night, 53-68. They had good defense in the first half and had a slow beginning for the second half. Trey Frazier led the team with 19, Riley Goodnight, and Aaron Valdez Sandoval chipped in 8. The JV team came away with a win. As for Saturday night, the boys hosted Central and the team was able to withstand the Bulldogs shooting and go on several runs to maintain the lead of the majority of the game. Cam will Williams was highly effective with 19 points, Trey Frazier 18, Jada Ayers 13, A-Rod 11, Lana Mejia 9, and Riley Goodnight 7 rounded out the scoring. The Dogs finished the game with several timely stops to secure the win. The JV team got their second win of the weekend beating Central. The Dogs return to action next week at Crawfordsville and West Lafayette. Reminder student ambassadors will be hosting a student section for the last home swim, swim meet of the year which is also senior night. Dress appropriately for the student section for the theme pool party on Tuesday. You will be fully clothed and no bikinis. Make sure to come out and support the dogs tomorrow at 6. There will be a mandatory meeting this Thursday, January 30th, right after school in room 305 for all girls planning to play softball. Anyone planning, planning to play needs to be at this meeting in order to get needed information regarding practice schedules, fundraisers, which are starting soon, and ordering of needed equipment and uniforms. That's all for sports. Now back to the studio. Congratulations to former HCTV member Ivan Santos for being slated to run for the 2020-2021 Indiana DECA State Region 2 President. We wish you good luck in preparing your state campaign. Also, this week's DECA Backpack Buddies weekend menu was created by Strategic Marketing Seniors. Student 2 are in AP U.S. History to come schedule a time to take your Chapter 17 reading quiz. Your, your last day to schedule is February 19th. You can only schedule a time during community. Now, for some real world news. Yesterday, NBA legend and his daughter, Gianna Bryant, passed away in a tragic helicopter crash. There were seven others on board in that crash. May they rest in peace. That just goes to show that anything could happen just like that. Don't let your anger controller and let your loved ones know they're loved. Have a blessed day, hot dogs. <laughs>